Hello, my name's Lucas, and this is the tiny house I built out of a 20-foot high cube shipping container. I want to give you a little tour. It has been a truly a, a wonderful addition to our house for the time that we've had it, um, using it as a home office, and it can also be used as a guest uh, house and a lot of other things. So starting, uh, let me take you inside. Here we have a Yale lock. And that's pretty nice. You go press this button to lock. And then when you want to open it, you press that and then you input the code and it unlocks. And that also can be operated with your phone. As we walk into here, we have a uh, white oak veneer solid uh, divider cabinet. As you can see, it's very sturdy there. Soft closed drawer. Space for a mini fridge. This is a, uh, you can put a microwave or an air fryer in here and you have power receptacles. Here is additional pull-out storage. On top here, there's a convection burner that has been tested but never used. Stainless steel sink that fits a full-size plate. It's actually about, uh, it's 20, 23 inch sink. And then here's a nice little feature. You get uh, a pull-out uh, large trash, uh, large trash bins, and then here's a cutting board that with a hole that you can use, and the stuff trimmings fall off right into there. And you can also lift this up and store knives and things. The countertop is quartz by Arizona Tile, and you have a one-inch backsplash here. These are solid white oak shelves. They're very sturdy. This uh, angle iron was bolted to the metal framing. You can see from my making of video if you'd like to um, learn more about how that was done. And then here's the little chef's uh, kitchen faucet. These are Anderson windows. They're Fibrex, so they feel like metal, but they're actually fiberglass, so they will wear, uh, they'll last a really long time, and they're better quality than vinyl. That is the cabinet. It's about uh, seven feet, six inches long. And here you can see the whole space. Moving on, here is our air conditioning system. It, it's a mini split ceiling recessed heat pump that both uh, heats this place in uh, close to, it has kept me warm in close to uh, freezing degree weather where we've had hail and it heats this place great with the, in combination with the one inch rigid closed cell foam uh, insulation we have on the walls and ceiling. It also has uh, cooled this place in 105 degree weather for weeks on end. This is where it's controlled with a wireless thermostat. So it's uh, really nice. You could program it with your phone and make sure you turned everything off. Uh, this is a solid core door by Simpson. Really nice, uh, high quality there. And then here we have uh, the bathroom. And as you can see, there's me. Um, some nice light fixtures here, and then this is a rolling door for the shower. That's a uh, teak mat, and then in here, powered by the tankless water here that's affixed to the outside of the container over there, is our uh, shower here. And it gets hot nice and fast because the tankless water heater is so close. It's an electric tankless. Here is the, uh, the, the cabinets. And under here, there's a, sump, uh, a macerator and ejection pump right there. Uh, and what that does is makes it so all the waste from the container is cut up with stainless steel blades. And then it'll pump the waste up to 150 feet and 15 feet vertically for the manufacturer out of a one inch PVC line. You can hear that sound. It's kind of like a, a boat toilet. Um, and that's what's pumping. That's the pump for all the, the water. 
and that thing receives the water from the toilet that's wall hung for easy cleaning underneath and then it's got a nice soft a nice soft closed lid and there are the buttons to control it and uh toilet paper holder towel bar i always liked that and then robe hook here and then this is a control for the exhaust fan right there so you just uh, go up or down it can be uh very powerful if you'd like and anything else in the bathroom? Here's an access for, you can put a Wi-Fi router up there and we have outlets up there as well um, already. And then a conduit that goes from underneath the container to the attic so you can run um, low voltage cables without seeing anything. And then here's a sliding door. recessed baseboard in the walls that's wood baseboard and then oak on the cargo doors I'll show you the cargo door operation in a minute behind this painting is a uh, intake fan in case in case you'd like to use that and um, what that does is you can basically bring in fresh air without opening a window and then these windows and doors are the same Anderson these windows are the same Anderson Fibrex 100 series and here's a, a TV niche and the Sofa and the TV and the uh, are not included in the sale or the paintings. Um, this is a wall hung desk that serves as a dining table as well. So that's a nice feature there. So let me go around and show you the cargo doors. Here we have uh, lights for, that's an exterior light. And then we've got uh, living room lights, a light switch for the desk here. And also above the kitchen. And then an exterior light switch there. Walking around to the outside here. This is a cedar one by eight siding and it's open joint siding. So this allows for ventilation of the container. Wind can get in there and the container itself is completely waterproof on its own. So um, the cladding, the, the siding also shades the container, but I like this because you can do easy inspections here and you can um, just kind of easily service the house. You can unscrew these fasteners right here to take off siding and replace them or inspect them. Up top, we have an eighth inch thick steel fascia board, and that can also be unscrewed very easily. Uh, these are eighth inch thick steel uh, trim pieces. And here are the cargo doors that we have painted matte black. <laughs> And that is how you open the container. It's really lovely. And there you go. You can open both of those doors <clears throat> and it'll, it really allows a lot of light in. Here I have opened the cargo doors completely. There's a nice uh, attic access there with power receptacles. And here, as we move down here, I have a accordion exterior power outlet 
that's the vent for the intake air, exterior lights, and um, the siding continues here. Fascia. And then back here, there's our condenser that's included in the sale. And then here we have a hose bib. This is the uh, lines for the power and line set for the condenser. And then that is the ejection, waste ejection line. That's an RV cord for, uh, for the 50 amp breaker that powers the container. And then this is a vent. That's the exhaust fan. And here's the electrical panel with breakers. And then in, in case you wanted to put a meter on this, you have a place for a meter. We just bypassed it and put a cover on it. Uh, there's the name of my business, Fork Shelter. And here's the tankless water heater with a shutoff valve there and a little outdoor enclosure. And uh, that's basically the mechanical room right there. We come around here, I have another power outlet down there or Christmas lights or something like that. Welcome sign. And then the steel exterior trim that is glazed with a clear glaze. And this is a really nice doorknob right there. And uh, that's the container. It's Gosh, quite a nice place and I hope you really enjoy it. Bye-bye.